Hey guys, welcome to the channel for another Elden Ring boss guide. This time we're taking on Castle Morn's boss, the Leonine Misbegotten. This guy drops a very unique weapon called the Grafted Greatsword or Grafted Great Blade. If you know George R. R. Martin's books, A Song of Ice and Fire, then you know the idea of the Iron Throne. Imagine that, but into a greatsword. It's a bunch of smaller swords melted together. It's a pretty cool concept. So in this video, I'm going to discuss how I defeat this boss and uh, how I go about countering his movesets to do so. Now, this guy, as you can see, is going to be very agile. He's nimble on his feet and can do a lot of damage very quickly. So I do recommend going in here with a good amount of health and then being prepared to do a lot of dodging. This right here, that attack where he stabs his sword into the ground is the single best opportunity to attack him. So keep that in mind. Once he stabs his sword into the ground, it takes him a moment to actually pull it back out. So you wanna make sure that you are ready to attack at that moment. It can be difficult to get him to do it a lot of the time when you want to, but there's nothing wrong with just being a little patient, not getting greedy for damage like I just did there. You can sneak in a lot of attacks after a lot of his own attacks here and there as well, but I find it best to just kind of take it easy, be patient. You just kind of have to accept that if you are a new player specifically, that you're going to struggle with this fight specifically. This is... This fight I have found to be one of the harder fights when I was new to Elden Ring. So as you can see, I'm just kind of capitalizing on his weakest moments right there where he stabs the sword into the ground because I can land very quick two, uh, two attacks there. Here it is again. We can land two attacks and then back off. Most of this fight is just about learning the dodge timing, and I failed that one too. As you can see, it's very easy to just kind of roll his attacks early because a lot of them are so very delayed. We can hit him there. We dodge. You see, because of the size of the sword and his mobility, the, the actual swing speed can be surprising in two different directions. Sometimes he delays them so they're very slow. Other times he doesn't delay them at all, so they're very fast. It's a, it's a, it's a bit of a learning process. It can be a lot. All right, here's the attack. This is the one we capitalize on. We attack twice, we back off. Keep in mind that when he does scream like that, oftentimes it will do damage to you if you're too close. You want to make sure you're not too close to him if you can avoid that. Land two attacks, back up, roll these jump attacks, stay far away. There's that, uh, that faster strike than you would think there with the Leonine Misbegotten. Ouch. You can see that even though I've played this game a bunch, this guy still catches me off guard with the actual speed of his attacks. It still at this time just catches me off guard. When he does the double jump, you can land one quick attack if your weapon is fast enough, so you can swing there too if you want to make the most of the time. But I would recommend for most people to just kind of avoid it unless you have a very fast weapon. Same with that attack there. With that double horizontal 360 slash, if you are too close, they uh, chances are is one of them will hit you unless you jump. With that attack, because it does go a little bit lower towards the legs, you can jump over it. But if you try to dodge, then you're likely going to get hit by the first one or the second one because of the actual timing of it, unfortunately. That's just the reality of that specific attack. There you go. We capitalized on his weakest uh, weakest moment once again. And there it is, the Grafted Blade Greatsword. I know I took a lot of hits there, so it's not the best visual representation, but I specifically wanted to show the best moment of attack uh, and for you as a player. Now, if you are a mage going into this fight, you can uh, basically just want to maintain your distance and just keep spamming your spells. Make sure you're not spamming your spells while he's charging at you, though. He is very aggressive and he will nonstop go at you if you are like throwing spells at him and arrows and stuff. But you can still find a window of opportunity to cast, you know, a quick glintstone, bl uh, you know, glintstone blade or pebble, stuff like that. So it is still possible even with magic. You just have to make sure you're really pacing yourself so you're not being uh, punished for casting the spell overall. Anyways, guys, I hope this video helps you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you soon for more.